Repeating what word? Over honorable men. Honorable and honorable men. So because of that repetition, it creates what? Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Okay, look at line 139 on page 1252. It says, you are not wood, you are not stones, but men. That sounds a little bit like something else someone has said at the beginning. Look at one of our very first quotes. Yes, you blocks, you stones, you worse than senseless things. So he says, you are not wood, you are not stones, but men. So he is um, telling him, them that they are good for honoring Caesar. Where at the beginning, people were telling them that they were bad for honoring Caesar. So he has a will of Caesar's, and he says, I'm not going to read it. You will get too upset, you'll be too mad if I read Caesar's will. And of course, when someone says, hey, I have this, but I'm not going to read it to you, then what do they want them to do? To read it. To read it. So... They are going to beg him to now, read Now, for book. the first time, instead of calling them honorable, he's calling them what? Traitors. Traitors. And we have our next quote. This was the most unkindest cut of all. It says it's on 185. It's actually on 180, line 180. Okay, so Antony is talking to the Romans, and he is looking at the body and saying, here is where Cassius stabbed him. Here is where this person stabbed him. And then he comes to one of the spots, and of course it may not be the actual spot. He's being symbolic. And he says, and here is the most unkindest cut of all. And he's talking about what? Brutus stabbing him. So he's reinforcing that idea that Brutus's betrayal was the ultimate betrayal because they were his friends. He said that um, Brutus, as you know, was Caesar's angel. Caesar loved Brutus. So it reinforces that fact. He still hasn't read the will, though. Yes, a speaker. He said, I'm not a professional speaker like Brutus is. But we know that that is not true, right? That Antony is a very good speaker. And if we look at both of their speeches beside each other, Brutus's is written in prose. Antony's is written in uh, poetry. We have lots of repetition and sarcasm and all kinds of literary devices in Antony's and a little bit in Brutus's, but not it doesn't have the effect that Antony's does. So we know that that is not true. Okay, we find out two important things. These two things will be on your quiz, so make sure you know what these two things are. What did he leave to the people? Uh, no. 75 drachmas. 75 drachmas. It says that they are silver coins worth quite a bit to poor people such as those in the crowd. Okay, so 75 drachmas. And what else? Yes. For them to do what? Uh, Grow food. So what could we maybe call those? Like parks and things like that. So he has left his land to them to turn into parks and places where they can walk around and enjoy themselves. So, of course, that is going to have a big impact on the commoners. Mischief, thou art afoot. There's a little typo there. Mischief is spelled wrong. Uh, so, he is, and it explains it well in the margin. It says, alone, Antony gloats over what he has just accomplished. So, he's proud of himself. He thinks he did a good job with the commoners. And now he says, okay. Whatever happens, happens. I've done my work. I've kind of uh, lit a fire underneath the commoners, and now they will take care of the rest. He's talking to himself. Yes, he's talking to himself. Okay, so now we have enter a servant, and um, it's one of Octavius Caesar's servants. Famous Roman poet named Cinna. He is not the same Cinna who took part in the assassination. Remember I told you that it was going to be a big deal that someone had the same name as someone else. So this is the part. The angry Roman citizens come upon the poet and believe he is Cinna the conspirator. Soon they realize he is the wrong man, yet they are so enraged that they slay him anyway. Then they rush to the city after the true killers of Caesar. Enter Cinna the poet, and after him the citizens, armed with sticks, spears, and swords. case of mistaken identity, and by the time they realize it, they don't care. They're, they have this mob mentality and they are ready to avenge Caesar's death, and they don't really care who gets in the way, even if it's someone innocent. Okay. All right. Um, you are going.
going to need a piece of paper.